Yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy P. Ross back in the building with another video. Um, first of all, let me get a shout out to my man CMS and my man Coach Mike of the Purple Underground, you know. Um, we just want to send our appreciation out to everybody who watch and support us. Um, we really appreciate that because it has been one year since we have been doing this. And uh, it makes us feel good to actually do it. And, you know, to maybe put a smile on people's faces, maybe make some people laugh, you know, or even give out some information maybe ain't nobody heard before on different topics and stuff that we've been discussing. So, thank y'all, everybody who support us. Thanks for the love and all that. Y'all know who y'all are. So, we're going to keep it coming. And that's just that. Now, that the Purple Underground's been busy, Prince has been busy all year too. This is one of the most active Prince years I can remember. Um, Cause generally we as fans, we continue to want more and more and more. And he been hitting us like in the pocket, like from different uh, media, social media, um, YouTube, uh, his own website, Third Eye Girl, they turn into Third Eye Tunes and all that you know uh different videos and stuff like that but i want to get into like a couple of the singles that he didn't release this year um screwdriver which was released uh january 22nd 2013 of this year um the boyfriend demo which was released 215 2013 live out loud which was released uh february 22nd 2013 um, the list just goes on and on and on and he been doing it and dropping stuff like back to back and it's just been like an incredible year you know what I'm saying including all the stuff from uh, Third Eye TV and all of that it's been an incredible year but also what I want to talk about is the breakfast experience the, the original release day of breakfast can wait uh, I believe it was February 5th, 2013. Then it was re-released on 3rd iTunes um, August 17, 2013. And then it actually got an official release through iTunes, which I kind of thought this was genius for the, the actual digital artwork with Dave Chappelle and the Pancakes. I thought that was genius right there um but it was released on itunes september 3rd 2013 then we got the ep the breakfast experience october 24th 2013 now i have listened to each one of the remixes which i think they said they were remixed by joshua welton um they're okay I think the one I was feeling the most was probably the last one, the Buttermilk. Um, but the track listing goes, uh, Breakfast Can Wait, Breakfast Can Wait Grits and Gravy, Breakfast Can Wait Espresso, Breakfast Can Wait Honey, and Breakfast Can Wait Buttermilk. I think I like the Buttermilk out of all of them. You know, um, check them out. Y'all get a chance to. Uh, we was even treated to a few videos this year. Just gonna name a few. Um, we got the Screwdriver Live film. We got the Bambi Live. Uh, the Live Out Loud video. Um, we got a different version of Guitar, which was hot video. And the last video I wanna talk about is the I Like It There video from uh the recent paisley park sleepover you know <laughs> breakfast experience or whatever uh that was like totally off the chain i like it there's a track that i like and i just love his guitar work on this particular video if you have not seen this video please check it out you will not be disappointed all right but overall this has been a great prince year um, he, he, he kept us on our toes with things from uh, stuff on the YouTube page 
again, just amazing. One of the most active Prince years I can remember in a long time. Maybe even his most active. But uh, other than that, it's also Halloween. Um, happy Halloween, everybody. You know, I want to do this personally because I'm a big horror movie fan. You know, I want to recommend a couple scary movies for y'all right quick. First one I want to recommend, and the, I've been watching these all month. So, uh, John Carpenter's The Fall, the original, not the remake, the original. All right. Silent Night, Deadly Night. This was the movie back in 1985 that they actually banned from theaters because uh, mothers protested it about Santa Claus being like a positive figure, you know, for kids and how you gonna make Santa Claus a killer. So they banned it from theaters. But overall, great flick. Uh, the original Nightmare on Am Street, most definitely. Phantasm, great horror flick right here. And Superstition. So, if you're looking for something to do this weekend or whenever, these are some great horror flicks to check out. Alright? Peace. And I'm out.